Yo, what's good guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Quasar Smartphone Pro. In my opinion, this is definitely one of the best phone scripts you can get for your 5M server. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is head to their Tebex store and purchase their phone script. And right after you purchase it, it will automatically be sent over to your 5M Keymaster account. Soon as you see here, all you're gonna wanna do is download it wherever you want. I'm not going to, I already have them downloaded right here. But after you go ahead and download those things, you're gonna wanna open the location where you downloaded them. And as well as you're gonna want to open your server files. So just head right over to my server files. And as soon as you're here, you're just gonna wanna open the zip file Keep in mind, you're going to either need a WinRAR or 7-Zip to unzip these, whichever one is fine. I'll link um, the one I prefer to use in the bio. But after you download that, you're just going to want to double click. And then you're going to want to grab this whole folder right here and just drag it into your resources folder. You're going to want to let this load. In the meantime, while this loads, make sure you head over to their documentation and download all the dependencies. Um, the only ones you're going to need to download is XSound, mHacking, and Progress Bar. Usually, everyone has AuxLib, but in the case that you don't, you can go ahead and download that as well, same as AuxMySQL. So, after the files go into your into your server you're going to want to go back and grab the prop the prop you can even put inside of smartphone pro you can put that right in there and then with the dependencies i usually like putting them in my standalone folder because that folder usually starts before all the other resources and for dependencies it's going to have to start before the script so we're going to go ahead, this you can rename to just say X sound. We're going to progress bar, make sure that's a script, drag that in and go ahead and delete the dash main. And then same thing for M hacking right here. This one's already renamed for us. Perfect. And then after that, you will no longer need the folder where you downloaded the script. And we're just going to go ahead back into the smartphone pro folder. From here, you're going to want to double click the SQL and depending on which uh, framework you're on, you're going to choose the one according to you. So if you're on ESX, you're going to obviously want to run the ESX version. If you're on QB core, you're going to want to run the QB version. I'm going to film a video for QB as well, even though the process is pretty much the same, but I don't, I don't want to confuse you guys. So for this one, this is going to be the ESX install. So we're going to go ahead and double click ESX, click open, make sure you're on your correct database, and then just click this little blue mark right here. Do not worry about this. Just click OK. And go ahead and refresh. Make sure that saves. And then you're going to want to double click the phone one. Go ahead, open that. And the same thing. Just click the little blue check mark. Click OK. Once that's done, just refresh, save it. And then we can go ahead and close that. And now this, you can delete this out of the folder. And now for the images, you're going to want to go ahead, highlight them all, right click and cut or copy up to you. And you're going to want to paste those inside of your inventory. Um, if you followed all my other tutorials on how to build a server, it's going to be the same way. Aux inventory, web, and then images. If you have your own inventory script, you're going to want to Go ahead and go into your inventory and wherever all your images are for your items, you're going to want to paste those in there. Then after you paste them, we can go ahead and delete that folder. And this folder can stay just like that. You don't need to do anything with it. And we're going to want to open this. Go to config and then config.lua. From here, it will automatically grab your framework. So you pretty much don't have to change anything up there. So for unique phones if you want to use unique phone you can but according to their docs if we scroll down as you can see 
unique phone system will automatically work if you use any of these inventories. If you do not have either QS inventory, QB inventory, AUX inventory, or core inventory, you're not able to use unique phone. And then we can scroll down. You can configure this however you want. Auto backup. If you want phones to automatically back up, you can change that. Display radar. You can, you know, use it or not use it. Um, use target. I'm pretty sure this is probably for charging the phone. If you want, you can use um target system where you third eye the guy instead of just walking up and clicking E. Um, keybind to change the phone, how you open the phone, you can set it right here. Um, or as well as you can change it in game afterwards. Each individual player can change it to whatever whatever they want. All this stuff. I wouldn't change any of this if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then battery. If you want phones to die, then you can keep this on true. But if you want phones to have infinite amount of battery, you can go ahead and change this enabled to false. Um, I personally like the realism of having battery. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back to true. But if you don't want that, you can change it. Here, if you're using Q as housing, you can charge your phone in your house. Um, power bank, after you charge your phone, do you want the power bank to you know, return to your inventory. I'm going to go ahead and put that to true. And same thing, like I said, if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't necessarily um, change this. Phone booths are definitely cool. Um, that way, if someone doesn't have a phone, they can still contact you. Uh, location of the ped to reset your password. Um, I would definitely... If you want, you can change it. Like if you have a phone store and you want a technician role play in the store, you can just put the pad inside of that store. All of this, I wouldn't really change and keep all this the same. SOS messages, you pretty much don't have to change anything. Everything is pretty much done for you. You can change the valet price right here. Um, these are just all the colors of vehicles. Uber items, you know, stuff like that. I wouldn't really mess with this, but if you know what you're doing, go for it. Have fun. Um, you can obviously add new apps here. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. You pretty much don't have to change anything in there. It's all a personal preference. Um, one thing that I will say is they even tell you over here. So they tell you to go to QS videos to do um, your web hooks, but that's actually not where it is. I'm guessing it was a typo, but you're going to want to go to QS smartphone and then go to client. No, sorry, server, custom, web hooks, and then webhooks.lua. Once you're in here, um, Discord web hooks do not work anymore. So everyone switched to five manage. So go ahead and open five, five manage. Go ahead and log in using your Discord account. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'll authorize. And then you're just going to want to go to token. And then create new token. Select type. Do media. This you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to just name it. Uh, QS Smartphone Pro. So smartphone dash pro. Then you go to create token. Once you create that token, you're going to want to find it right here. And you're just going to want to highlight that. And you're going to want to paste it in right here. Okay, it did not copy. Sorry. Go ahead. Copy the token. Paste it in right there. And then same thing with these. Um, this one might work for webhooks if you do want these like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Just so you can keep logs for yourself. But just this will do just fine. So after you put your um, your token in there, you can go ahead and close that. You can even close this. You won't really need that anymore. And then following their documentation page, that is pretty much all you have to do. If you don't use PMA, Mumble, Toco, or Salty, you're going to have to add your own voice system. They tell you exactly where to do it. Um, you're just going to want to grab your exports pretty much. You probably will be using one of these four. And 
to add the items like i said if you followed the tutorial from before and you have ox inventory you're just going to want to head to inventory ox inventory data and then open items.lua once we're here we're going to go back to their documentation we're going to open the item for ox inventory and click this little copy button up here then we're going to go back here we're going to create a new line and paste in the phone and then once you go to file save you can go ahead and close this and obviously depending on your inventory you're just going to want to grab the items obviously qs inventory they have them right here esx core and etc but after you add the item make sure smartphone is started after your core script and after your inventory script so for that you're just going to want to go ahead open your files going to want to go to your server.cfg scroll down and right under my inventory is where i'm going to start the phone resource so we're going to go ahead and copy this type ensure you can either do ensure or start it's pretty much up to you but i'm just i, I like using ensure i like having mine up nice and organized and we're just going to want to go ahead save this and then close this after you do all that, all you're going to want to do is restart your server and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and restart the server. And I'll be right back with you guys as soon as the server is back up. Okay, once you load into the server, as you can see, I have all the items in my inventory. So I'm going to just go ahead and click F1 to open up the phone. Now... I'm just gonna go ahead wait for the phone to to do, do its thing we're gonna go ahead and click start start configuring continue just do continue for face id a password you can set whatever password you want just go ahead and click yes i like dark mode continue and then you click start put in your password and now you can see i have the phone in my server personally i don't like the default size of it everything can be changed as you can see everything here you see all your information is exactly like an iphone display you can change the scale right here you can change the brightness turn it down turn it up you can go back to light mode dark mode etc you can change your wallpaper um you can obviously change your password sounds vibrations you can get the server time um, they even have a streamer mode thankfully love that you can hide your phone number um, in case you are streaming and you don't want to leak your phone number um, disable blur for performance turn that on if you want and then you can go to app store you can see they have multiple different apps including games you have obviously instagram which is um, a tos friendly version of instagram same thing with twitter um you know youtube spotify is obviously called, called soundfy you link that way everyone is able to use this streamer or not and it is tos friendly so we're going to go ahead and download all these apps and i'll be right back with you guys as soon as i'm done all right after you download the apps i'm gonna go ahead and only show you guys two of them as i know this video is already getting pretty long i apologize for that so you just want to go ahead copy your phone number or memorize your phone number if possible um but then you're gonna want to go to create an account so you're gonna have to paste your phone number in here um which i wish and i hope kazar comes out with an update in the future that it automatically fills in your phone number but in the meantime we're just gonna go ahead and i am going to screenshot my phone number just so that i have it so i'll go ahead screenshot my phone number and open it over on my other monitor that way i can just write it down no need to memorize it so to create an account, you're just going to want to type in your phone number. And after you type in your phone number, you're just going to want to hit continue. A verification code has been sent to me. So we're going to go grab the verification code. You can just click that so it copies. Go back here, paste in the 
verification code and continue your character's full name i'm gonna just type in dev and you can even create a password just go ahead and create a password and then username i'm gonna just make it dev and as you can see we have our own profile on instagram now or instagraph then we're just gonna go ahead and type in this is the best profile obviously you can do whatever you want you can go ahead and save that as you can see it updated our profile these are all the commands you're able to use with the phone so it just right here give insta verify this way you can verify your account my username was just dev so we'll just type that in go ahead open this up go to instagram and as you can see i now have this little verified badge and twitter is the same way um, i'm not gonna go through that because like i said everything's the same way and obviously let's say the prop gets stuck in your hand slash prop fix and you can use all this specific specific commands for whatever you need keep in mind those commands will only work for admins um i believe prop fix will work for every player but yeah that is how you install qs smartphone pro i hope i made your guys's life a little bit easier with this video i appreciate you guys for sticking this long i apologize for the long video if you guys could please leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications and if there's any other script by quasar that you guys want me to make a video on please leave a comment down below or any script in general just leave a comment down below and i'll try my best to get that for you guys once again appreciate you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you guys on the next one